Marvel approached us, uh, it was a year or two ago, about Doctor Strange for omnibus covers and things like that, where, again, can Alex is pretty straightforward with, can I do the classic version? Can it be which version of Doctor Strange do they want? And Marvel, you know, to his glee said, whatever. Whatever version, Alex he didn't, you know, sometimes people don't realize there were earlier, uh, there was an earlier design to Doctor Strange's costume. It was the Steve Ditko version, which Alex always felt was, um, again, another really uh, overlooked aspect of the character that was just tremendous amount of, had a tremendous impact on him as a, as a reader and an artist for the character. He always felt that the, uh, that early, those early stories of Doctor Strange were very, you know, defining for the character. And then, of course, you know, the, the outfit that came later was cool for Tim as well. Even the Doctor Strange with the, when he had the mask, and then the later on, the, the one we see now. But he, Alex was, was thrilled that they were, they were cool with him to be able to do the Steve Ditko 60, early 60s version. And, and again, this is, um, it gets lost a little bit. A lot of people don't always see the Doctor Strange image at the top, or this is kind of, again, uh, a throwback to what you see in the Doctor Strange origin, the Steve Ditko origin. The a particular sequence was taken out of a really, really old story uh, of um, his connection with the underworld and stuff like, uh, which were, were a big part of the origin. Marvel was like, go, whichever version he wants to do. And so Alex jumped all over this.